हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए एप्लीकेशन व्हिच आई डेवलप्ड इनसाइड वनीला जावा स्क्रिप्ट बेसिकली दिस एप्लीकेशन अलाउज यू टू एक्सपोर्ट योर एक्सेल फाइल इनटू सीएसवी फाइल सो इफ यू कंटेन लेट्स सपोज एक्सेल फाइल व्हिच हैज मल्टीपल शीट्स आउट देयर सो हियर बेसिकली यू नीड टू चूज योर एक्सेल फाइल सो आई विल सेलेक्ट माय एक्सेल फाइल गाइस यू विल सी दैट दिस एक्सेल फाइल कंटेन थ्री शीट्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट शीट so it will show all the sheets in a table like structure and uh, this will contain the sheet name and this will the second column will contain the download button so if you click this download button guys you will see that this will download it as a csv file and now you can open this csv file inside the uh, editor so this is you can see that so we are actually converting the excel file into csv so individual sheets so let's suppose if i open this file here uh, the file that i am talking about is this file if i open this inside excel viewer you will see it it contains three sheets uh, sales order my links and sheet 1 so it contains three sheets so that's why it is showing right here you will see that so we are achieving this inside pure javascript we are using a library which is xls.js so this is the name of the library guys so this is sheet js it is commonly known as sheet js this library so if you want the full source code guys you can go to the description i have given all the source code the link is given you can purchase the full source code after purchasing it you will get this zip file which is excel to csv it will contain two files here index.html library.js so we are also using some bootstrap as well guys so now let's get started so you can also you can see you just need to select xls or you can select here uh, xls file so anyway you can see that you can download here like this your excel file will be converted to csv file so comma separated value this is the file that is known so now guys let's get started for by building this application so the very first thing we have is uh, we will simply delete this code and start from scratch so you i have just included the bootstrap cdn guys which was needed for this application so css code i have included so after this we will have the container class inside this we will have a form group and here we will have input type file and we will only be accepting xls and excel as and it should be required and we need to give it an id of uh, file input and then basically we have given form of class of form control that's all and after this guys we will have table bootstrap table where we will be showing the output so we need to give it an id of sheet table this is all the html code which is required guys now we will write the javascript code here so we will include the script.js file so we just need to create a script.js file in the root directory so here we will write the javascript code so first of all guys we will get the actual file which will be selected by the user we will use document.get element by id which will file input after this we will add a event listener to it so whenever the it is changed here this function will automatically trigger and here basically we will get access to the file e dot target dot files zero so this will get access to the excel file and now we will use the file reader api guys so we will say new file reader and after this we have the on load event so here this will be a function which will be invoked so just after this guys we will also just after this reader dot we will read as array buffer and we will pass the file that's all so inside this code guys we will now add this code here we will first of all new we will again use this eight array and we will pass this dot result and then basically guys we will create a workbook we will use this sheet js it contains a method read basically guys it reads the content of the excel file we will pass data here 
and the second parameter will be type here which will be array so your excel file will be read in the form of array and then we will create a table we will get element by id which is sheet table and we will basically create a header here which will we will create the head of the table create table head and we will insert a row inside this so insert row so here we will simply say header dot insert cell and inside this we will append the child and here we will say document dot create text node and this will be your sheet name and similarly guys we will copy this line and paste it right here so this will be for download so we will export that sheet into a csv file that's all so after this guys we will say workbook dot sheet names for each we will use the for each loop and inside this guys we will have the actual sheet name and here you will say the row we will say table insert row first of all and after that we will simply insert the data by using this so insert cell and append child so inside this we will append our data so again we will use this document dot create text node and for here we will simply append the sheet name here and then we will basically have the download button so you will say download button so you, here you will create an element guys which will be a button so here you will say text content of the button will be simply be saying download and we will add an event listener to the button so whenever you click the download button guys what should happen we will add this event listener so for the file should download so for downloading the csv file guys we will say xls it contains a method utils dot sheet underscore to csv and here guys we will convert the workbook to sheets and we will individually select the sheet name here like this here we will pass the sheet name so after passing it we will need to convert this to a blob we will say blob and here we will create a constructor new blob and here we will pass the csv and then we will need to pass the type parameter here which will be text slash csv semicolon uh, char set which is character set is utf8 utf8 that's all and after this we will create the link guys so you will say document dot create element this will be anchor element and then we will say that link download which will be the sheet name the file name the sheet name plus the extension which is csv link dot href will be url dot create object url blob and then we will automatically click this link that's all so after this guys uh, just after this uh, we just need to say row dot insert cell and append child and we need to append download button that's all so that's all that you need to do guys for this application and if i now refresh this application if i select my excel file you will now see it contains only one sheet if i click download my csv file will be downloaded so all the data which is present inside the excel file is exported successfully into a csv file so you can purchase the full source code guys if you still have problems so basically it will select your excel files by default so this is a really good example guys you will see that it will contain all the sheet names which are present so it will have download buttons right here individually you can export all the sheets to csv file so all the source code is given you can purchase the full source code at a reasonable price the link is given thank you very much for watching this video